In my last video, I shared five things that I never learned in art school. And if you watched that video, you probably would have assumed that I didn't learn anything in art school. But that couldn't be further from the truth. I actually learned quite a bit. And in this video, I'm going to share five valuable things that I actually did learn in art school. Hello there everyone, Matt here with TheVirtualInstructor.com and in this video I'm going to share with you five valuable lessons that I learned in art school. Now I graduated art school well over 20 years ago and if you would have asked me what I would have learned in art school before I entered art school, I would have told you completely different things from what I'm going to share from, with you in this video. In fact, I would have never thought that the things I learned in art school that turned out to be so valuable were the things that I'm going to share with you right now. So let's go ahead and dive in with the first thing that I learned in art school. The first thing that I learned in art school was that I learned that there is competition. I remember that first day in my freshman drawing class as if it were yesterday. My class had about 20 students and all of them were strangers. I remember looking around wondering, who is the best? Is it me? Is it her? Is it him? Who is it? You see, I'm over the top competitive. I've always strived to be the best in every single endeavor that I undertake. This can be an advantage, but it can also be a huge character flaw. We all know that you cannot always be the best at everything. But when it came to drawing, I had always been the best, in my high school anyway. But I quickly learned that art school was going to be a different story. If I wanted to be the best, I was going to have to work for it. And I learned this in my very first art college critique. I remember I spent about three hours on that first assignment. It was an 18 by 24 graphite drawing, so it's a pretty large drawing. And up to that point, I thought that spending three hours on a drawing was a pretty long period of time. But as my classmates and I pinned up our work upon the wall, I quickly noticed that mine wasn't the best. It wasn't the worst by any means, but it wasn't the best either. For someone as competitive as myself, this was devastating. Before the critique even began, I knew that I could do better. Competition drives excellence. It also separates those who are willing to work hard from those that aren't. There was clearly competition for me among classmates. Now the question became, am I willing to work hard enough to reach a level of excellence? Now that I have years of experience under my belt, I know that in order for me to have reached my potential for that drawing in that particular style, I needed to spend many, many more hours on it. Additional time could have been spent on better research, thorough execution of the medium, and developing a clearer manner in which to communicate the idea. But I have only learned these things because of the competitive spirit that drives me to do better. Now, the second thing that I actually learned in art school was that I learned the value of critique. I've never met someone that likes to be told what they have done wrong or where they can improve. So it's no wonder that so many students are resistant to the process of critique. After all, this is what critique is all about, being told what you've done wrong or what you could improve, right? During my first year of art school, I would dread critiques. While I loved sharing my work, I couldn't help but feel that I was being evaluated during each session. It was only until I separated myself and who I am from my art that I really learned the value of critique. I had to look at my art as a product rather than an extension of myself. And this is hard to do as an artist. We express ourselves through our work and we can't help but to be somewhat attached to it emotionally. But in order to improve, we must learn to view our art objectively. And this requires some detachment from our work. When I shifted my mindset, I quickly began to benefit from the critiques. I understood that not every work that I create has to be a success, but in every work I can grow. Each critique offered insights on how my art was viewed and how I could communicate in a clearer manner. By graduation, I looked forward to every critique, not so much because I was excited about sharing my work with others, but because I was excited about what insights I would learn from the process. The third thing that I actually learned in art school was that I learned that talent can be learned. From very early on in my life, people labeled me as talented. 
For a long time, I graciously accepted this label. However, over time, it began to frustrate me. Up until art school, I believed that my drawing abilities were the result of the talent that I was fortunate enough to be born with. But this misbelief actually hindered my growth as an artist. Because I believed I was talented, I also believed that I didn't have to work as hard. When I finally realized that my artistic growth actually has absolutely nothing to do with talent, my artistic skills started to grow. I started doing my own searching, and as I grew, my thirst for knowledge intensified. Soon, I was producing art that I never thought I'd be capable of producing. I had to let go of the idea of talent and realize that drawing and painting are skills that really anyone and everyone can learn and develop if they really truly have the desire to do so. As artists, our starting points may be different, but the level in which we can take our artistic skill is really limitless. The fourth thing that I actually learned in art school was that I learned new processes in art mediums. Our experiences shape who we are as people. Our exposures to artistic mediums sometimes shape who we become as artists. When I entered art school, I had only been exposed to a few art mediums. I had never touched a soft pastel and I didn't have a clue as to what lithography was all about. I had never painted with oils and I was convinced that pen and ink was the only medium for me. My exposure to a variety of media and processes in art school changed all of that and formed who I became artistically. Now pastels are actually one of my favorite mediums and I actually work way less in pen and ink than I would have ever expected. Now the fifth thing that I actually learned in art school was that I learned that success in art requires hard work and perseverance. So by now it should be clear that success as an artist requires hard work. If you really want to become a strong artist, you must be willing to put in the hard work and hours that it requires. Far too many people expect immediate results and get discouraged when it doesn't happen quickly. Drawing and painting are lifelong journeys and skills. Developing your skill as an artist should be approached like a marathon, not a sprint. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you were able to pick up a couple of things here and there. If you're new to the channel, I would encourage you to subscribe and click on the notification bell so you're notified when new videos are posted. And if you want to take your drawing and painting skills to another level, I suggest you check out the membership program over at thevirtualinstructor.com, which includes a variety of drawing and painting courses on a variety of subject matter and media, weekly live lessons, which are all recorded and stored in our vault, and they go all the way back to 2012, so you can watch all of the recorded live lessons that we've ever done, weekly critiques as part of the Members Minute, and a year-long curriculum for visual arts teachers. All of this is included in the membership program, and you can try out the program for a week for free. I'll leave a, a link in the description below. You can go check that out. If you want to just check out three of our course videos and eBooks for free, you can do that too. I'll leave a link in the description below for that as well. Guys, thanks again for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I wish you all the very best in your artistic success.